Hi, I'm Luella from In Loves Cosplay, and I'm going to show you how to make eyelets with an Elna. What's an eyelet, you say? Well, what's your eyelets you're going to see are going to be these metal ones. They're big, they're bulky, and you have to have a specialized tool to smash them down in. Now, the big ones I don't have as much trouble with as the small little ones like this little itty bitty fellow that I usually end up mashing into something that is no longer round even with the nice tool. So I'm going to teach you how to make these kinds of eyelets. Aren't they sexy? Nice, uniformed, and stitched. Just think of it like a buttonhole, but with an actual circle instead of a line. So first and foremost on my machine, and I'm hoping this is translatable to other machines, we're going to take it off of its normal settings. I am going to leave my tensioner at four. You have to read it downwards on these machines. I'm going to take my stitch selector dial and set it to zigzag, which is the second one here. I'm going to take my stitch width and I'm going to turn it to three. You want it between two and four on an Elna. And then I'm going to take my stitch length and turn it to zero because I don't want it moving. I don't need any length being caused by this little fella here. So now we're going to deal with down here, down in feet dog land. So let's see, let's focus you up, focus, nope. Okay, we're going to take you a little bit further back, all right. Still getting used to this glories of film type filming things instead of just shooting pictures. All right, so right now we have it set up for our normal sewing thing. So first things first. We're going to take off the pressure foot. We do not need the pressure foot. We do not need its little bits there. So this is what you're going to sew it. Isn't that strange? No pressure foot at all. All right, so there are two plates that you use with an Ella. You've got your two millimeter and your four millimeter. We're going to use the four. So, there's the thread, there it is. First and foremost, I'm going to thread the thread through, and it's really hard to do looking through the camera lens. Okay, we're, there we go. Sorry if this looks a little awkward to you guys, but I have to see what I'm doing. All right, it's got four little clippies on the back, as you can see here. They lock down into the feed dog plate. And let's get, get it to click. Listen. Unless you hear, haha, <laughs> there it is, that nice click. This is going to come up and it's going to be a nightmare. So what they do with the Elna kit to provide you with a way of punching holes is they give you this little goober. Okay. I have found this guy is not that effective. It's a bollock sieve. If you don't have them, that's fine. What you want is one of these. I use this generally with punching holes in leather and vinyl, but it works great for this too. So I've already made my nifty little hole here on my tester. So I'm going to take him, I'm going to push him over the hole. See, he's nice and pretty. Sorry, I keep bumping the tripod. It's right in front of me, which is not normal. That's the best way I could get you guys this view. So, first and foremost, you want to, even though you do not have a pressure foot on, make sure it's dropped. If it is not dropped, don't lean on your machine. If it is not dropped, then you're going to get some really chunky badness because the pressure foot controls the tensioner up above. If the pressure foot is not down, and this is on almost every machine I know, if the pressure foot is not down, the tension will not be set for the upper needle, and that is bad, very bad. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start stitching. I'm using a darker color thread than I would normally on this, so you guys can see it better. So, you wanna rotate and stitch as you go. Now. I've done this now with larger garments and it's a pain. So try to do it two things before you attach them. Now we go all the way around, almost there. As you can see, my fabric has completely rotated 360 almost. But you are the controller of the rotation. Okay, so you get to the end, then go a few stitches further and then go backwards. And the grommet just fell on the ground. Make sure you're pulling it towards the 
and you shank and make sure your fingers stay out of the way. <laughs> like that, my thumb was where it didn't need to be. Thankfully that was not like my finger, like it was earlier because I got gouged earlier. So, gone back and forth and now you lift up again so we can just pull this to the side. Take your nice little scissors, nip that little fella off. Clean up all the little threads now that you have everywhere, because anything in sewing does that. And now we have our pretty little grommet hole. Simple, easy like pie. Well, it's actually easier than pie. Pie is hard. Pie takes a while to make. <laughs> so, but you got a nice hole and it's nice on both sides. So that's how you use an Elna one. I'm hoping this is going to be helpful for non-Elna users. And um, yeah, please follow us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all those fun things. And of course, YouTube. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.